The sponsored segment is brought to you by Oculus. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and it is time for another favorite tech of the month. And for those of you who aren't familiar with my favorite tech of the month videos, I pretty much go over tech that I've been personally enjoying for the past month, whether it's old or new. But this month's actually been more about new tech that I've come across and they're actually pretty dope. Now the first thing we're gonna talk about guys is this guy right here. This is the Oculus Quest. Now for those of you who never heard of Oculus, where have you been? Uh, but the Oculus is a VR headset, and typically, Oculus has had to be hooked up to a computer, at least for my Oculus Rift. I've got it connected to my gaming PC. But what's special about the Quest is that it requires no cable connection to any PC. It's a standalone device, so you can pretty much game in VR anywhere. But first, let me get rid of this table here, show you guys what this thing is all about. You guys can see my VR gaming skills. Okay guys, so we've got some Beat Saber over here. Hey, I'm killing this right now. That perfect though. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, level failed, how? I have no idea how I failed that level. But you guys can see for yourself, this thing is really, really fun. I've been really liking having it recently because we've had a few guests over at the house and this thing is just like an awesome thing to keep people entertained. I had cousins over playing it right in our bedroom. And what's dope is that you can cast what's going on in the headset to a television. So if you happen to be playing around with other people, they can kind of see what you're seeing. So you're not in there alone while everyone's standing around. But there's also other cool games like Super Hot, which is a really fun game. Uh, let me show you guys some of that too. Oh, snap. Mm. Oh, I took his gun. Hey, I'll see that bullet. And this thing, of course, has all the sensors it needs to detect you moving around, whether you're moving your body or you're moving your hands around. You can play games like even dancing games. Ari loves the dancing game that's on this. She's always about the dancing and this thing can pick up all those dance movements and stuff as well. So there's a lot of variety in terms of what you can actually play with this. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite ways to play VR. Now that you're not tethered, but you still get access to all those cool Oculus games that are like really good titles. And if you guys are interested in learning more about it, I'll of course have links down below in the description so you guys can check it out. But now let's talk about something else that's really new that I've been enjoying for the past few weeks now. So what we've got right here is the Sony RX100 Mark 7. I've always loved the RX100 line. I think I got in on the very first one. Now we're up to seven goes to show you how long I've been doing this. But for those of you unfamiliar with the RX100 line, this is a point and shoot camera, which in 2019, it's surprising that we're still talking about one, uh, but this one is definitely worth it. Smartphone cameras are amazing these days, but there's just something about the quality that you get from something like this that you just can't get with a smartphone. And that's what I've been really enjoying out of this. I've been able to do some really cool Instagram stories where the quality is just, amazing. Now, special about the RX100 is that when you have it in portrait mode like this and you record, the file that you get out of it is natively going to be in portrait mode. So when you take that over to editing software or you transfer it right over to your phone, you're gonna get that portrait landscape. So that means not having to jump into any editing software to go ahead and change the orientation or anything like that. The file comes out ready to go. Now, one of the biggest requests that people have had for this camera forever now is finally added we now have a microphone jack. So now you can have a much better quality mic than the onboard mics on the RX100, and that is a lifesaver. That is something we've been begging for. So if you have like a lavalier microphone, something like I have connected to my shirt, you'll be able to have that hooked up to the camera and get some really nice audio quality to go along with the image quality. Now, if I gotta make one complaint, I wish Sony would pretty much trade this pop-up flash for like a hot shoe mount like we saw with the Mark II. I think that's the only one that ever had the hot shoe, uh, but I wish they would bring that back and get rid of the flash. I don't use flash photography. I don't think a lot, I think a lot of creators opt not to use flash. So I feel like if they're gearing this towards that at all, maybe add the hot shoe, I think that'll be a good move, Sony. You could get an external flash. Hmm, think about it. I typically carry around the Pixel 3 XL to get like photos. Uh, it makes me want to replace that Pixel. So I've been really, really liking that. You still get really good image quality. You get 4K shooting and the focal range is insane. It's 24 to 200. 
starting at f2.8, getting a little nerdy on you guys. But if you want some real crazy zoom action, like check this out. That's some solid zoom. So if you want versatility, you're absolutely going to get that here. This thing is a pretty penny at 1200 bucks, but with the image quality and what this thing can produce, if you are a prosumer, this is something super lightweight that you should absolutely consider. If you guys want to see like a full blown review, let me know with a comment down below. Now, while we're talking about cameras, here's a little something we've added to our arsenal, I guess. And that is this Tenba DNA camera backpack. Now this thing is an awesome camera bag. It has a ton of good things going for it. You guys can already see just by the looks of it, it's a good looking bag. Now in the studio here, we've been using the Peak Design bag. Uh, this one, I forget how many liters it is, uh, but this is the bigger version. And it's just been a bit too big sometimes. Uh, so I decided we'd go for something else that I saw recently. Uh, this one pretty much carries just about as much as this guy, but in a form factor that isn't as beastly. Uh, so check this out. We can unhook right here, pop this open and you can pull out a camera, it doesn't matter what size it is. So this is a really, really large compartment that you guys can see it has a ton of pockets, a really big space. So you can keep a lot of things inside of here, lots of camera equipment. And down here, you have access to a little pouch that lets you hold something up front, like the monitor for this guy, some lenses, batteries, you name it. This thing has space for it. You can carry just about anything you want inside of here in terms of camera gear. And even if you don't wanna use it for camera gear, you can find other cool uses for it as well. And these are all adjustable. And there's just a ton of different compartments. So you got spaces to hold like SD cards. And it doesn't just end with these guys. You also got these side compartments as well. So we can carry ND filters, you name it it can carry it. It's about like 200 bucks, so it's a little pricey, uh, but for camera bags, this is one of the more compact ones that I feel like can really expand with you if you want to expand it. Uh, it can get really large as you guys can see, but it can also get a lot smaller too. So versatile bag, I love it. Uh, and I think the guys over here love it as well. So. This is something that we're gonna be carrying around to like shoots and everything. An awesome bag, trust me. So that is the Temba DNA. I definitely think it's on par with the Peak Design bag that we've got here. So definitely check that out. But now I'm gonna show you guys something that's in another part of this office that you probably have never seen before. But let's go check that out. Okay, so this room is a bit of a work in progress. Don't judge anything just yet. This is all gonna change, I'm very sure. But what we're gonna be talking about today, guys, is this keyboard right here. This is the SteelSeries Apex 7. Now, you guys might have seen me open this thing up in a massive tech unboxing. It has been an awesome keyboard. I actually like this keyboard quite a bit. Now, of course, it's a mechanical keyboard, Cherry MX Red switches, so very fast. Uh, but what I love about this is, one, the keys feel really nice, and Look at this little uh, screen right here, guys. So SteelSeries has been able to add little OLED screens to their mice as well as their keyboard. So you can add little GIFs and come on, tell me you don't know what that GIF is right there. Bonus points to whoever can kind of make that out. Spoiler, it's a Gundam, you know. It's gotta be a Gundam. So if you're a gamer, someone who likes to game a lot, this is something worth looking into. And it even has a magnetic wrist rest so you can just throw that on there or remove it completely if you'd like. There's even one without the 10 keys or the number pad on the side. I go through a lot of keyboards and this is one that I feel like is gonna stay with my setup for a long time. It also has a USB port on the side, so if you wanna plug something else into it, you can do that. And of course, how can I not mention, it's RGB. So if you wanna change up the color scheme of it, you can do that with the software that's included. So if you've got a theme going, you can go ahead and mix and match with the colors. You guys know how RGBs work, but if you are looking for a solid mechanical keyboard, this is one that you really wanna check out. But I think that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What has been your favorite tech of the month of July? Uh, I've been trying out a bunch of different things, but these new things have really caught my attention. Let me know what you guys have been using and leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.